open stage control. It's a very nice alternative con to control your digital audio workstation. Um, it runs in Google Chrome, which runs in any laptop, uh, tablet or phone that I know of. So it covers all the operating systems. It's totally free, it's open source, and you can design this yourself. The whole tool has a, an editor built in. Let me turn on the editor. If you click on one of the values on the right hand side, you can see the properties of, of that little box which says Pix, pitch. It is uh, the device and a device name in Bitwig. The way it works is with OSC, Open Sound Control. So this URL is sending and receiving values from this front end back and forth to your digital audio workstation, in this case Bitwig. And Bitwig has excellent open sound control support at the moment. The way this uh, yeah this enhances the way you work, for instance, let's say you have some knobs, you could never have this functionality on a on a MIDI controller. It would require a lot more work. And here, obviously, if you change if you change tracks, for instance, uh, let's say you you have another track, the the whole values change immediately. Even the, the in this case, there's modulation going on, so the modulation would show up from Bitwig in this tool. How awesome is that? You could you could have uh, coarse uh, adjustments or fine adjustments with two fingers. You want to control multiple values with different fingers, go ahead. If you double click, it will go to the Bitwig default value. And the values are also not between 1 and 1 to 7. They actually mean something. There's a frequency, the percentage of feedback. So these are logical values. No way you can have this so fast in a MIDI controller. And so this is something you can design yourself. You want to have... Uh, uh, you have, want to have different colors, you want to have different parameters, go ahead. This is something you can design yourself. So use this extension. There's also other extensions online. Um, let me quickly show um, the people who are responsible, uh, who are behind this. First of all, there is uh, the site of Jürgen Mosgraber. He's a German dude. He has short lines with the Bitwig team and he makes a nice extension in Bitwig which exposes the Bitwig API so that this front end can connect to it. In this zip file, if you download this zip file, you will find another template which you can load in this program and it will look totally different. It will have different functionalities uh, where you can change browser settings, add devices, uh, change the sense so a little bit more advanced. Um, my template is more a beginner template. I'm just starting off with Bitwig and I wanted to have something to quickly uh, change some settings, use the drums and I also want to use the keyboard uh, as far as I can try. Obviously yeah, if you if you have a nice, let's see if, how it would look like on the desktop. I'm opening, opening it up in Google Chrome on my desktop, clicking on keyboard. Yeah, if you have a if you have a giant uh, touch screen, a laptop or a big touch screen, you might be able to to use the keyboard also. Actually, uh, but it's there, and the keyboard uh, represents a real keyboard, meaning the, the the C4 value is where it should be. So the other guy um, who makes open sound open stage control is some kind of an open source uh, artist. He has several things going on with with friends and this is just one of his projects. Open stage control is, uh, is being um, developed quite actively right now. So if you need any new features, go ahead, go on the GitHub page and simply make an issue and you can uh, you can go ahead and ask for it. So that's it. I hope this um, you can download this template. You can check it out and you can further further develop onto it. 
I think uh, for me this is it now. I'm going to start learning Bitwig. On uh, in the future, I will probably still add more things to this uh, as I need them.